how to use pay links in Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can create and use the pay links within your favorite platform for creating a website which is Wix. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Wix.com. Then you're going to select the website that you want to do. This method will work with uh, both of Wix Studio and also the standard Wix editor. So right here, as you can see, we are going to select one of the websites that we are going to make. So then we are going to select it. After that, you're going to see here the loaded dashboard of that specific website. Remember one thing that here on Wix, each individual website is going to be independent from the others. So that means when you are going to set something or set a parameter right here into the, uh, the for example, here site number three, you're going to set it only for this specific website and not for all of the others. So now once you are on the Wix dashboard, we are going to click here on getting paid. Once you have clicked on getting paid, you're going to see here the methods of payments or start uh, accepting payments right there. Then you are going to set up here a payment method. So once you have set up your payment methods, you're going to see here that on the getting paid menu, we have a lot of items. We have pay links, which is the subject of today. We have invoices, price quotes, proposal and POS checkout, which is point of sale checkout. We're going to select from there a the pay links. Now we have here the pay links. We are going to create the link. So we are going to click on create link. And here we have two options. Either you are going to put a one time payment. You can create a pay link to receive one time payment from your customer. Or you can go ahead and create a multi payment right there by creating a pay link to get paid many times via social media and more. And this is uh, called uh, or used for setting a lot of people to make payments. So we are going to put one time payment, click on next. And here we have the link uh, name. So we are going to put here, for example, uh, pay, for example, pay link number one, for example, like that. And here we are going to put the price of it. So for example, I'm going to put here 1,500. So you can go ahead and add some details about this pay link. You are, for example, going to pay for the uh, service and the uh, for example monthly monthly subscription uh here we are going to either go ahead and create the link or we can open the settings and set up an expiration date for example you can go ahead and customize uh, the appearance of the uh, link like that for example for the button you're going to get, for example, the bluish color button like that. You can go ahead and, and uh, put here uh, the button text like this. For example, we have here pay now. You can also add a link uh, or the pay link image. For example, you can go ahead and add it right there as a background image. For example, we are going to select one of the um, here recommended so let's go ahead and add this so you are going to see that right there for the link name you need to put something uh here as subscription for example or service fee for example like that service fee then you are going to click on create link but I want to mention something that this feature for creating links is going to be 
a premium feature so you need to upgrade your plan or when you click on create a link you're going to head over the um uh, here are the plans of Wix, then you are going to upgrade it to another plan or a more uh, a premium plan. That was for the one time payment, but here on the multi payment, you are going to select that. You have uh, the same uh, newly uh, information from the link name, the price, the description, but for the settings, we have another thing. For example, you can set an expiration date, and this is standard. But here, as you can see, we can limit the number of payments. For example, we are going to put a number of payment for 100 um, times. So you will not exceed 100 subscribers, for example, or 100 uh, service selling at the, with this link. So we have the same things like the image or the customization. You can go ahead and put here some uh, description and etc. Uh, also, this is a uh, going to be a premium feature, so you are going to upgrade your plan. But before here setting up the payment links, I highly recommend for you to set up first the payment methods. You are going to head over the settings because these payment links will receive money from the customers or the uh, link holder. So you are going to set up the accept payment. Go ahead to accept payment. Now you are going to change the country that you are going to be in. For example, United States. So I'm going to choose. And here the payment method will be changing depending on the location that you are in. For example, as you can see, you can go ahead and set up here the credit cards directly from there. So you are going to click on connect, then you are going to proceed to the next steps. You can uh, connect PayPal or add some manual payment. And for the more payment options, you're going to see here Square. We have Square Up. As you can see, we have Afterpay, Affirm, Ali, Pay, here a Klarna, Blankful, Bankful, uh, Choice by ACH or ACH by Choice and etc you can also set up stripe so we are going to change the country for example to france maybe you are going to set up france and then we are going to see if it is available so stripe is available in the european countries for example we have selected france so we can connect directly stripe also the payment methods are going to be here more various so that was very simple Thank you guys for watching, I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.